Hello Ratbags, it's Jade. Welcome to a Conan Exiles video guide today, taking a look at what's going on with the brand new revamps on the test live server. This will be coming to Xbox PS4 very soon. Remember, some things might change, but we are taking a look at a revamped cave today, Exelfar's Refuge. It's pretty much near the boulevard which connects the jungle to the north. And as you saw there, we are wearing the brand new Sobek armor. This is how you're going to get it. So we're pretty much a 7 Jay just in the corner, like I said, on that way to the boulevard entrance to the jungle. On the left hand side, you should see a cave opening with a torch in it. It's got around 15 full enemies in here. Around three of them are going to be pretty tough. They've got the gold bar on them, which normally I think means they're like tier four thralls normally, like named ones. Or at least certainly a lot harder. None of these thralls are tameable though. You can't knock them out. You won't be able to keep them. Weirdly in test life, they're all wearing just sort of normal looking armor of the brute or serpent sort of armor. But the main priest guy has got the white Sobek armor, which is basically the god of the alligators. As said, it gets pretty tough in here. It is quite a large space though. So I'm going to pretty much show you a cheese method instead of here fighting each and one of these. Like I said, there's 15 of these, including the boss. When you come in here, there is a much quicker and easier way. The little mini boss is pretty much on top of the alligator statue up here. And like I said, it has got a more advanced guard guarding him as well as some uh, normal sort of guards. He's not that hard to take out really. It's just the whole network of them firing arrows on you that makes this cave slightly dangerous. So whatever way you do it, I'm going to show you the cheese in a second. But pretty much take him out and you will unlock one piece of armor each time that you kill him. This time I've got the legs, I do believe. And then the second time I've got him, I've got the chest piece. It's worth noting as well that if you knock him over the edge or sometimes if he gets caught up against a piece of wood or something, he seems to die a lot quicker. So try and race up to this wooden area here and try and take him on on this stage. Like I said, if you knock him over like this, he just dies instantly. So it's a good cheese method, that one too. If you're really into the lore stones and books of Conan Exiles, there is one of them there that explains what you're doing in this cave or what happens, how you communicate to Sobek, the alligator crocodile god. Jumping down and exploring his body, like I said, it gave me the chest piece. So you're going to have to do this obviously five times. It takes about 10 15 minutes, depending on what servers you're on, for this mini sort of NPC for all to respawn. There are a good few chests in and around the area as well. In fact, there's around five or six of them. So just kind of explore the whole cavern if you really want to go through it. There wasn't really anything exciting in them. And of course, there are alligators, crocodiles. So make sure you are paying attention to them. But this is how you're going to cheese through this dungeon. When you get inside the cave, don't fight any of the fools. Just try and run past them, avoid the arrows and slip to the left hand side. I'm mucking around here just checking his chest because I'm in god mode obviously, but you'll be taking a beating. Keep following this little wooden path and go all the way around into the rock area. You are going to maybe have to take out the crocodiles, but it's going to be a lot easier than taking out 10 or 12 fools. Go all the way around and you'll notice they don't chase you. Whether or not the pathing's correct, maybe that'll be implemented better when it goes actually fully live. But you can pretty much just avoid them all and then climb up the side of the rocks on your right. This will take you up to where the Sobel uh, sort of cultist leader is. You can see it there, just to give you another reference point. And you can go ahead and take him on and fight him without the majority of the fools attacking you. Otherwise, good luck. Like I said, there's plenty of chests dotted around. There's one on the right hand side here, down below you'll find one. And up the rise to the left as well here, you'll find another two chests. There's also some chests underneath the crocodile statue. So have a good explore if you really want to get every single bit of loot from this dungeon. So what does the Sobek armor actually do? Well, it's about vitality. It's a medium armor and it's got very good or very decent sort of armor protection, but it gives you nine bonus vitality. The helm of Sobek gives you armor of 84, that bonus vitality. The chest piece gives you 112 and again, more vitality. The gauntlets and the boots are going to give you 32 armor and obviously more vitality and the tacit or the trousers, that's going to give you 80. So yeah, not a bad armor set at all, particularly I think if you get the early game and you do the cheese method of just running around the thralls, you could pretty much keep farming this guy in the space of an hour and get all five pieces of armor. Look how much it saves when you dump it all into vitality, literally means you'll get to the third perk much quicker if you're doing this. 
But most of all, it just looks goddamn cool. I really like the look of this one. It's unusual, it's unique. It's pretty white looking with that red flash. I think it's a pretty decent looking armor. So hopefully you'll be able to add more to it to make it a little bit stronger and make it a little bit more useful. And that is it for today's little video. I hope you liked it. Let me know if you have by making sure you like that button. Don't forget to come join my PS4 Conan Exile server I've got running by joining Discord. And I'll see you guys for another mini test live preview very soon. Laters.